Okay, hey guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to get CFG mod menus onto your PS3 using a USB for games like World at War. Okay, so things you're gonna need a laptop, a USB drive, and a PS3. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your USB drive and you're gonna plug it into the slot in your PS3 that is closest to the disc. Next thing, you're going to want to go to Save Data Utility. And go to your Call of Duty. You're going to want to click Copy. And click your USB device. It'll copy it to your USB device. Yes. It'll copy it to your USB device. And that's it for now. Now make your way over to your computer. Okay, now we're back at our computer. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your USB to your computer. You're going to want to open the folders to view files. The thing that, and you're going to have a PS3 file in your folder in your USB after you copied it on from your PS3. There's going to be three files you're going to need. WinRAR, so you can go into these different files. COD5 Game Save Editor. And the menu that you're going to want to put on your PS3. These two are going to be in the description. There's going to be like maybe two mod menus that I'll put in the description too with their codes. So, okay. <coughs> the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the COD5 game save editor go to right click go to open with WinRAR archiver it will pop up with this go to COD5 and come to this COD5 game save editor ps3.exe and open that you can exile that it's gonna come up with this you're gonna wanna go to file open game save folder you're gonna want to try to find your USB so you're, usually it's under computer you're gonna go to computer to scroll down find your USB finds removable disk and you wanna not this one not this one but click on this one the blue BLUS click on that one it might be different but click on that one it'll load up it'll say all files have been decrypted press ok go to game save editing go to grand zero mp it'll come up with a whole bunch of different codes in here let's say like custom class different things this is basically the multiplayer uh, place it'll come up with a whole bunch of different codes it isn't for mine because I already set it you're gonna want to click enable you're gonna want to highlight all those different codes you're gonna want to delete them and then you're gonna want to copy and paste the codes that all have this description for the right menu in here and that's what, and that's what you do you're gonna come here go to save all game files and then it'll say game save files have been encrypted click OK you can X out now this PS3 folder is set to the mod menu code that you just put in there. So next thing you want to do is you want to take that mod menu that you downloaded, that you want to put on, you want to drag and drop into your disk. Okay, and that's it. That's it for the computer. You want to come here, eject. Always eject just in case because sometimes it won't save. Just remove your USB and that's it okay we're back at our PS3 first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug your USB device into the same slot that you plugged it in before closest to the disk okay, and then you're going to go on your PS3 you're going to go to save data utility you're going to go to your USB device click X and it will come up with this 
this is normal, it's supposed to do this. Yours probably won't have the red around the Call of Duty World at War. I set mine to do that. So yours will just be this in your USB drive. But go in here, press triangle, click copy, press yes on these two. It'll copy over. Copy completed. Go to your World at War and or any other Call of Duty game that you're doing this to. It doesn't work for all of them, but let it load up. Sorry about the bad quality recording this off my computer. I mean, you get the part of it that you need to know. So. The multiplayer. Go to play online. And I set mine to put my name like this. You can. I'll make another video on how to edit your World at War, your CFG menu, okay, you want to go into a private branch, make sure that it's working, okay, and once you're in the game, only thing you have to do is press up to open the menu, let's start opening the menu, There you go. You've got the whole menu, everything in it. And yes. Now, every time you turn off your PS3, you will have to redo the step where you copy it off of your USB back to your PS3. You don't have to plug it into your computer or anything. So, it can run your mod menu. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.